Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com. My name is Rick Utzler and I'm really glad you could join us again today. I'm very excited that you could be here with us as we introduce this new, new rifle to you. Now this rifle's been around for a long time and I'd like to set up exactly how we came, uh, we came to be able to do this review. You know, I get a lot of correspondence every day from people that are either looking at my website or looking at the YouTube site and probably the largest question I answer will be, what air gun should I buy? This one gentleman called me and he was interested, not necessarily in a Magnum spring gun, but something that would be very accurate and he could maybe shoot in the basement or keep the range between 10 and 15 yards, but something that would give him really, really good accuracy. And he didn't want to spend a lot of money. This gentleman had contacted me through a review I had done on the Crossman 1760 SE. Now that's a pretty nice rifle, but there's one other gun that's very similar that I tend to recommend more than the Crossman. That's the Tech Force 78 Deluxe. Now, I would normally say go right to Capacico, look up the Tech Force 78, pick up the Deluxe, you're going to be thrilled with it. Unfortunately, Capacico was completely out of stock. I received an email back from this gentleman, and he asked me, have you ever heard of Archer Air Guns? They really just focus on the QB, 78, the 78 Deluxe, the 79, and basically these, uh, these CO2 guns that are built by industry brands. Not only do they just specialize in the gun, come to find out Stephen Archer has actually written what's commonly called as the QB78 Bible. This manual is available from their website and it actually has the entire breakout of the gun, what parts are required, uh, rebuild kits, how to disassemble, how to reassemble. It's actually been translated into Chinese and the factory uses this manual for their technicians to work on these guns. They really are the expert on the industry brand QB78, 78 Deluxe, and the rest of that whole family. What makes working with Archer Air Guns different than any other vendor? <coughs> it's their level of service they offer. When I was talking to Mr. Archer, he was telling me that they offer a service called their Gold Service. What he will do is take your gun, before he ships it, he will run pellets through it, he will chronograph it, he will test it for accuracy. If there's anything wrong with the gun, he will fix it before he ships it. The gun we're going to look at today is the QB78 Deluxe. Uh, they didn't hand select this gun for me. They wanted to make sure that we got something that was representative of their product line. Pulled it off the shelf, ran it through their gold service, and actually my gun had a little bit of a problem, which of course they fixed before they sent it out. Good thing too, because with that seal kit, it actually gets better velocity than the stock factory gun. So I was really happy to find out about that. Now I've shot several different pellets and we're gonna come over here and take a look at it. But before we do that, let's take a look at the gun. The initial thing that catches your attention when you take your first look at the QB78 Deluxe is this absolutely gorgeous stock. From what I'm told from Stephen Archer, that this stock is pretty typical. Um, the quality coming out of the Chinese factories is getting better and better by the day. The gun ships standard with the front and rear fiber optic sights. I chose to add a simple BSA red dot scope to this rifle, seeing that I'm only shooting at 10 yards for this review. Other important points to note are uh, the barrel is thicker than, say, the Crossman 1760 SE. Um, it's a heavier duty barrel, uh, and uh, I really prefer something that has a little more, more weight and heft to it. There's a steel band up at the front that holds the barrel securely to the uh, reservoir, which is, again, nicer than the Crossman. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very beautiful gun. Moving on, you can see that the gun has a pretty sporty looking gold accent trigger. That's a metal trigger. And the bolt as well is accented in gold. The 78 Deluxe shipped with some uh, industry brand pellets, but for uh, just for the fun of it, I decided to run some shot cards with some pretty standard pellets. Um, the velocities really surprised me, as you can see there with the hobbies. We were getting 650 and actually over. The PBA ammo was horrid. Uh, don't even try. Um, the uh, silver bears were okay. Uh, the 
good velocity, accuracy wasn't great. Um, moving on, here's where the wad cutters. Now, I had done better with those before, but those were the industry brand pellets and had that flyer. Um, the Crossman pointed pellets, as you can see, were really impressive. Um, and the close second were the Crossman hollow points. Again, very good velocity and a 22 caliber CO2 rifle. Here's a look at the QB78 workshop manual along with the report from their gold service. As you can see on the report, there was only one flyer out of 10, uh, which still yielded a very nice shot group. You also have a complete listing of all the velocities for the test. So how do you work the QB78 Deluxe? It's actually quite simple. Let's go through the process. First of all, unlike a lot of other CO2 guns, for example, let's take the Crossman 1760 SE. These rifles take two CO2 cartridges. I really like this design. It gives you, it doesn't give you double the shots, but it gives you more consistent shots, and it gives you, I believe, it gives you better velocity and more hitting power. First thing you're going to do, open this up. I will always suggest you put a drop of Pelgun oil on your, just like this, a little drop. Who knows what's in this stuff? All we know is it works. All right. Put those in opposite each other so that you put one in, point down this way, and then point up the other way. The end of this knob here has a little point it will pierce that other CO2 cartridge and you simply screw it in, reaches its stop point right about there. Alright, now pull the bolt back and you shut it. First shot's going to be a little bit low. Second one, however, you'll be up and running. Okay, let's go ahead and put some targets up and see what we can get out of our QB78. took a look at the Crossman pointed pellet, gave us great accuracy and very, very good velocity in a 22 caliber CO2 gun. Let's go ahead and wrap this review up. I want to give a special thanks to the guys over at Archer Air Guns for sending us this review product. They make all kinds of accessories and rebuild kits for this gun, bulk fill kits, um, bulk tank adapters, uh, they have stock improvements, they have bolts, they have seals, they have Anything you need to make this gun the best it could possibly be, you're going to find it over at ArcherAirGuns.com. Again, thanks so much, guys. If you need the manual, they've got the manual. If you buy a gun, make sure you get the gold service. And here's the awesome thing. Is we're going to wrap it up here. The QB78 Deluxe is less than 100 bucks. So for less than $100, you can get a very high-quality uh, 22 caliber CO2 hunting rifle. Um, that will really, really thrill you. Uh, if you want to spend the extra 20 bucks, which I certainly would, and I think it's a little bit less than 20 bucks, frankly, uh, go ahead and get their gold service. That way you know for certainty when the gun shows up at your door, it's going to perform. My name is Rick Usler with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for joining us today.